had a quiet night last night. I was rereading Mercy Watson's The Rescue again. I know we've been reading that book in shared reading, but I just cannot get enough of that pig. So anyway, I had it in my head that if I read it just one more time, I could figure out exactly what makes that writing so good, so funny, and so powerful. And at first I thought it was how Kate DiCamillo makes her readers laugh. She's so funny, right? Even her characters have such specific names like Eugenia Lincoln. I also noticed she's got a real knack for stretching her story into tiny actions, telling her story bit by bit. It really pulls her readers along beside her characters in their adventures. So I kept reading, noticing all of these cool craft moves that Kate has carefully tucked into one book until I reached the end. It all comes together at the end. And it all kind of makes sense. The story really clicks. It got me thinking, on top of all of the important craft moves readers can notice throughout the book, they have to pay particular attention at the end. We've already been thinking that authors don't just pick up words as they write. They do this work on purpose. Authors have intentions. They work to make those endings of their stories click together. So today I want to teach you that when readers get to the end of the story, they reread and ask, how does the author make this all click together? So I thought we could give this a try with one of our all-time favorite books, Those Darn Squirrels. We've been working together to think about what Adam Rubin does to make his book so clever and funny and masterful. And today, let's dig in to figure out what makes the ending click together. But before we get to the ending, let's kind of remind ourselves about what has happened in the story so far. So we know we've got Old Man Bluefire, and he's a total grump. And all he likes to do is paint birds, but his birds were getting ready to fly south for the winter. So he decides to feed them to make them stay, but the squirrels keep eating the bird food. And every time they ate the food, Old Man Foodwire would shake his fist and say, those darn squirrels. So Old Man Foodwire try, keeps trying new ways to keep the squirrels out, but they keep finding ways to get the food. And those birds, they just fly south for the winter anyway. And Old Man Foodwire is sad and lonely and the birds, excuse me, and the squirrels notice. So the squirrels hold a big meeting in the large tree. Wait a minute. They've, had, they've done this before, right? They've all met together to make a big plan. But in those other times, it was about how to get more bird seed. This time, it's about how to make Old Man Foodwire feel better right? But that same idea, you're seeing a pattern. They keep coming together. They're really clever and crafty. This time, they're doing it to be kind. And here are those squirrels dressed up like birds, right? To make Old Man Fuquire feel better. And here's Old Man Fuquire. He says, this will make quite a painting. He's going to paint those squirrels dressed up like birds. Wait a minute. He paints before. He's painted a couple of times. That's happened before, but now it's happening in a slightly different way. And then here's the last page. There's Old Man Fuquire. There are the squirrels. The squirrels were so overjoyed. They had a party in Old Man Fuquire's house. Those darn squirrels, said Fuquire, and he shook his old man fist and smiled. Wow, even that phrase, those darn squirrels, has repeated across the book, but this time he says it in a different way. He shakes his fist, but he says, those darn squirrels. He shook his fist and smiled. So it seems like Old Man Fuquire is doing some of the things that he's always done, but this time it's in a different way. It's in a kinder way. That seems like a, one of the ways that Adam Rubin has worked to make his book click together at the end. So readers, we know that none of this is on accident. Authors have intentions, so we need to pay attention. We can think about powerful parts across a text as we read, but we can also pay extra attention to the ends of our books. We can ask, 
how does the author make this whole book click together? Guess what? You can do this with books, physical books in your hands. You can do this with digital text as well. Paying extra attention at the end and thinking, hmm, what did the author do at the end to make this part click, this whole book click together? All right, readers, off you go.